So we're going to break down Lex and Turna from Metallica. I've heard snippets here and there. And this thing, oh my gosh, it's sex. Never the full track start to finish. So we're going to see what it is, what it is. Is it thrash? Is it punk? Is it rock? Is it metal? Is it Saint Anger? Is it crap? Is it pass? Is it playlist worthy? Lars is coming out with some banging ass drums like the double bass is good people are saying in the past that Lars is a wacky drummer his skills are garbage but from what we just heard it doesn't sound garbage It kind of has that new kind of metal core, like doodle do, doodle do, doodle do, kind of resembles bands like Trivium or um, Bullet for My Valentine's. Vocals on point, production on point, the colorful, the uh, the, the way the uh, video is shot with the lights, cool. Everything, the only thing I'm not hearing is Robert's bass. What Metallica needs to do is turn the bass up so you have a, a deeper bottom end. Because the drums seem kind of flat. They do, they, they do have a flat sound. The drums, even though you can tell they're being played professionally technically good they have a flat tone you don't hear robert's bass and that's one thing that's missing Very pop oriented kind of singing around the vocal. And this is not what we expected. Metallica just dropped this out of out of nowhere. So if this is a precursor to the new album, it's gonna be dope. It's gonna be heavy. It's gonna be aggressive. Very typically Metallica, it's like do 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 Metallica. Do I think they missed it on the solo section? I personally think the solo section could have been something a little bit better. 
that just seemed like a bunch of fast notes thrown together. One thing I do notice about James's voice, he's kind of hitting a higher note, a higher register than he's normally used. So far, so great. The dude's killing it with the double bass. The dude's killing it with the double bass. No joke. The dude just murdered those double bass. Yes, it ain't as fast as like with other bands, but the dude can still thrash at like 70 years old or 60 years old, whatever. At the end of the day, they did the thing. I would give it like a 7 out of 10. I'm not the biggest Metallica fan anymore, but I would say it's better than I actually expected it to be.